now to campaign 2021 Friday night lights and possibly a new turf field. A proposal to replace the field at Ram High School is on Tuesday's ballot and the project is dividing the three towns that make up the school district. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Matt McFarlane is live in Hebron where a rally is underway right now and this is definitely controversial Matt. Well, Aaron, you know, uh, players, their fit parents, uh, coaches, they have been pushing this for quite some time. It actually goes back a number of years uh, regarding getting a new field here uh, for the Ram High School and getting an upgrade. Now, with the referendum on the ballot, this is as close as they've ever gotten to this point. They say the current field, it doesn't drain very well. It gets torn up. It needs to be replaced. But opponents say, well, a turf field is not the way to go. We want turf! These student athletes at Ram High School might not be old enough to vote, but they still want their voices heard when it comes to Tuesday's referendum over whether or not their school will get a new artificial turf field. It would be awesome because it's grass towards the end of the year gets pretty messed up. So being able to play late in the season, especially in the tournament, it would be, it would be great to have turf. Voters in Hebron, Andover, and Marlboro, the three towns that make up regional school district number eight, will vote either yes or no on whether or not to bond roughly three and a half million dollars over the next 10 years to install a turf field, lights, and a new track at Ram High School. It's a high controversy. I think it'd be great, but I mean, I don't, my kids don't play, but I mean, why not do it? Let's see what it does. And I mean, I've seen it every, uh, in other places. According to the district, the current grass field has a long history of drainage issues dating back to when it was built 20 years ago, leading to ponding and standing water on the field and track causing issues. In fact, coaches say Ram even had to move home games late in the year before due to poor and unsafe playing conditions. I do cheer the I play lacrosse and our games get canceled all the time because it's too wet or whatever and it would just like make our lives a lot easier and we could have night games. It would make the high school experience a lot better overall. But opponents who put up vote no signs around the district claim turf fields are more likely to cause injuries arguing that natural grass is better for the athletes and the kids. But those backing the new turf field argue out of the more than 30 plus teams in their conference, Ram is just one of four that doesn't already play on artificial turf. Personally, I mean, my husband used to play football and he used to love playing and getting muddy and dirty in the snow and rain. So you lose that when, when you have turf too. Now, if the turf field project passes on Tuesday, there would be a design process. The project would then go out to bid. Construction would start this summer with a completion by sometime next fall. We're live with the Mobile Newsroom in Hebron. Matt McFarland, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Yeah, quite a turnout there, Matt. Thank you very much.